I would say when we were we were running, we were doing conditioning in the summer with MC, and we were, I thought we were running pretty hard, but I guess he didn't. And he brought up the UMBC game, and he said, if we keep running like this, we keep working like this, then we don't have the same result in March. And that really stuck with me, honestly. I don't know about other people, but that stuck with me. My first meeting with Coach Bennett, you know, we sat down three days after we lost to UMBC and um, just talked about ways, you know, how we can, first of all, learn from the loss, even though how painful it would be, and just ways we can improve on it. I guess when uh, Coach, before away games, stopped doing uh, shoot-around sessions and uh, started doing uh, team-building activities, like uh, I had to play some songs and like name that tune on the piano or like uh, when we played Jenga or just like different games that I guess united the team. And that just, uh, it, it kind of like defocused us from basketball and just brought us all together as uh, a family. Oh, and Oz got his scholarship when he got a scholarship here. That was the, uh, that was just a, a great moment to, to be a part of and just the excitement for everybody. And, uh, just him getting that scholarship, it was, it was great. Hitting 100 was pretty cool when we played Marshall. Just cause doing it for Coach Benetton, that was his first time hitting 100 and we were on the bench and like we knew like me and like Austin and we were about to get in the tie. was like, you guys better hit 100. We're like, all right, we got it. I think the moment that really stands out to me was when after we beat UNC and Tony Bennett walked into the locker room really quiet and he starts jumping up and screaming. We all just go crazy like throwing water. And that was the first time I've seen him really, really excited. And then after that, it's been a steady uptake in how we've been, how our energy and practice. And we've always had great energy and consistency. But after that, just is like, hey, we're like, we're really, really good. And we know that we're really good. So that was the time that I really felt like we can do something special. Just like the love we get, I guess, from everyone. And like when we come out of the bus into the hotel, there's all people there all the time. And on social media, people always congratulating you and shouting you out. That's probably like the craziest thing I've experienced. Marco and Cody both had a sweet dunk at different part, at like in two different games, and that was real fun. We just all went wild, you know. Marco, was like, oh my gosh, and he rejected the screen when I went to set it. So I was like, oh, okay. Oh. Talking about favorite moment of the season. Yeah, no problem, bro. That was fun. And then Cody, when he decided to take off and actually dunk one instead of lay it up, get it. That was really cool. It was good to see. The regional championship. Uh, that shows all the work the team put during the whole time, since day one in practice and now. After the ACC, uh, coach told me that I went to see coach and I told him that I was ready to you know, uh, help the team and hopefully win a national championship. After the uh, Oklahoma game, when Coach Bennett came in with a monkey on his back, because he doesn't usually do stuff like that. So for him to come in and just see how excited he was and how excited we were to get that win and just be on for Sweet 16 uh, was awesome. That's something I'll, I'll hold for a while.